Jackson and Browner, and it's Robinson who wins it. Touchdown, Jacksonville. His 14th win. Borders with top, looking deep for Robinson. And the is What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the second edition of the UCF Jaguar Film Room. Now before I get into this tape, I want to give a quick shout out to my man Vaj Lombardi. He is one of the top film room breakdown guys on YouTube and he's working on a little project called Project Illuminati where he is trying to get together a bunch of the NFL football community and basically have a representative from each NFL team to come out and post some film room videos of their team. So I'm out here in Central Florida representing your North Florida Cardiac Cats holding it down for your Jacksonville Jaguars, so I'm happy to be a part of this project, so let's go ahead and get into this film room. Now the Jaguars have a lot of recognizable names at the linebacker position. Of course, everyone knows number 44, Miles Jack from the 2016 NFL Draft. He was one of the top 5, 10 prospects coming out, but wound up dropping to the second round due to some medical concerns, but you know, a lot of people know about Miles Jack. You've got Paul Pozlesny, who's been in the NFL for about 9, 10 plus years. Everyone knows that name just from being around the league for a while, but one linebacker that goes unnoticed is our weak side linebacker Telvin Smith. Now, Telvin Smith was a fifth round draft pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. He dropped because of a failed drug test and just a lot of, a lot of scouts just thought that he was too small, too skinny to play the linebacker position. But ever since the Jaguars drafted Telvin Smith, he's done nothing but make plays for us and he's proved to be a fifth round steal. So let's go ahead and get into some film room of him. Now you're going to see the Jaguars are in their base personnel set with their three linebackers, Telvin Smith, Paul Pazuzzi, and Miles Jack. Usually this is used for run type of situations and you're going to see the run go to Telvin Smith's side. Uh, this left guard is going to initially... Uh, make some contact with uh, the left with this defensive end over here. Um, then he's going to co peel back out to the defensive tackle um, before trying to make, attempt to make this uh, this block on Telvin Smith. The Telvin Smith stays home and he's able to come in there and uh, trip the player up. So uh, you're going to see he just, the, when Telvin Smith steps up, uh, gets in front of the dude, uh, This the lineman is not in a good situation where he's in front of him where he can. Grab some, grab some pads, and uh, Talon Smith winds up tripping them up, and he makes that stop. You're going to see on the very next play, once again, the Jaguars are in their base personnel set with the three linebackers. Talon Smith is lined up over here, and you're going to see him make a little bit more noise in the run game. He's not going to make this tackle, but he's going to basically stop the running lane for uh, DeMarco Murray. He's going to come over here and... You're going to see he pretty much stops this hole for DeMarco Murray and the only thing he can do is either try to take the edge where there's already a defender right here or run right into Paul Puzzlesny's chest. And as they say in football, the lowest man always wins. Uh, Paul Puzzlesny comes in there, kind of stood up a little bit high. DeMarco Murray sees that and gets low and he's able to drive him for another like two, three yards. But uh, still a good stop by Paul Puzzlesny and... A uh, great play for Telvin Smith to stop this running lane for DeMarco Murray. And on this very next play, it looks like they are in some kind of a, of a run situation as they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight men in the box. Uh, Mariota's going to call this guy in motion. They're going to shift a little bit. And then you can't see much this play from Telvin Smith, but he winds up making this tackle. But uh, you're going to see from this, this next this next view that Telvin Smith is right over here and he is going to come in and he's going to take on this block pretty much stop the running lane for I believe that's Derrick Henry this play but he doesn't stop there he spins out of it and he's able to come down and end up helping in on this tackle of Derrick Henry uh, this was really a great play an unseen play by Telvin Smith being able to take on a block be able to take on a fullback's block at that and being able to stand him up he's going to turn around extremely quickly you're going to see he's already facing the same side of the field as derrick henry and he's going to come in and make the tackle uh you know that's that's good football right there now this next play was probably the best play the jaguars made after this ass whooping they received from the titans as telvin smith wound up getting this interception 
uh, you're gonna see him right here and what he's gonna do this whole play is you're gonna see the whole time he's reading Mariota watch he's gonna start coming left because he sees his eyes are over there and then once he starts turning you're gonna see Telvin Smith start turning damn I wish I this play thing was down here but you're gonna see him right down here uh, you know once Mariota's eyes turn he's going to be able to come in here and then make this interception now this was kind of a shitty throw by <laughs> it's kind of a shitty throw by Marcus Mariota. I mean, to Sean Gibson or Telvin Smith would have been able to make this play, but it was a good job of Telvin Smith just being able to read the quarterback's eyes and be able to come on to play and just make a play. Uh, this was a total momentum swing because uh, the drive before this Blake Bortles wound up throwing an interception, and this was still when the game was close and uh, the Titans were in a striking distance, but. Thomas Smith able to come away with this key, key turnover, even though it didn't mean much by the end of the game. Now on this next play, you're going to see a first look at the nickel defense as uh, Telvin Smith and Miles Jack stay out there on the field while Paul Pazuzzi comes off and then Eric Colvin comes on. And you're going to see just Telvin Smith play some disciplined run defense on, looks like Rashad, Rashad Matthews. Um, he's going to not bite on the, on the read option play. Uh, Talon Smith stays home, and you know this guy has a lot of space to really just make some kind of move happen. Uh, just an offensive weapon on their side, but Talon Smith able to stay home, make this open field tackle, and stop him for a loss. So it's a good play by Talon Smith. But with all that said, that's all I got for this film room video. Make sure to leave a comment, like the like the video, subscribe to your boy UCF Jaguar. And uh, check out the other members of this Project Illuminati down in the description below. But with all that said, this is UCF Jaguar with GenJag.com, and I am out. Yo, look, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Y'all suckers, bro. You feel me?